How's it going, assholes? My name is the Stellar J, and have you noticed something? Shh, shh, shh. Do you hear that? That's right. Fucking nothing! There ain't shit coming out right now! The only decent thing airing right now is Made in the Biss Season 2. This is like a well-done steak. Delicious, of course, but where's the rest? Where's my potatoes? Where's my broccoli? What am I gonna drink? A lonely steak is good, but it's no meal. Oh, nice! Here's the rest. Okay, so we got Forgettable. I'd rather stab a fork in my eye. Predictable. Trailer used a Creepy Nuts song, so I guess I have to watch it. I mean, I, I guess I'll watch this, but only because I watched the other seasons. Are you noticing a pattern here? Actually, Joe, one of those enemies that you just mentioned is actually secretly really good and you pissed me off for laughing at it. Fuck you, unsubscribe. Now, what if I told you guys that this seemingly unbreakable silence that you hear is just the calm before the storm? Next season is where shit gets crazy. If this season is Pong, then next season is like Elden Ring. There is so much fire coming. First, you got My Hero Academia Season 6 and Spy X Family. Yeah, you know, pretty, pretty solid, okay shows. And then... To Your Eternity Season 2. The first episode of this show made me cry in, in 20 minutes. Like, damn. This is proof that you don't need a super complex or ridiculously long show to effectively tell a story. They could have ended this show right here and I would have been happy. But guess what? They didn't. I really want to see them make a comeback to the core of the show. Those super emotional moments like in the first and last episodes. Fuck the knockers. I am so sick of these faceless, boring, copy-paste antagonists. Great job with this bitch, but I want to know more about her. Where does she come from? Why does she do what she does? How can a sane person like me relate to her? Okay, how can a mostly sane person like me relate to her? Flesh her out, never show me another goddamn knocker again, and never on your life kill a beloved character in a flashback again. Do you hear me, motherfucker? Do that in season two, it'll be dope. Blue Lock is also coming out. Now, I know what you're thinking. Soccer anime? Fuck you, Birdman. Unsubscribe. And I hear where you're coming from. Soccer is without a doubt the most boring sport on the face of the earth. The only reason it's so popular is because of its accessibility. To play a fun sport like hockey, you need to take out a goddamn second mortgage on your house for the equipment. You need to live in an area that actually has an ice rink, and you need about five years of ice skating experience before you can actually play at the most basic level. To play soccer, you need a ball. When I say soccer anime, even I get a little bit pissed off at myself. But what if I said Haikyuu, but with their feet? See, now you're interested. I've heard some really good things about this manga. I think we can trust it, guys. All right, uh, what's next? Bunch of shit I ain't heard about. What's, what is that sound? What, what is that? Who is that? What the fuck? Holy shit, Mob Psycho Season 3, you guys. What are the goddamn odds that three of my all-time favorite anime will get new seasons in the same year? I really want to see this show lean more deeply into the already established characters. Season 2's biggest flaw was that there was too many goddamn side characters and not enough screen time for me to care about them all. Which is hilarious because they absolutely nailed Mob, Reagan, and Dimple. Like, these are the three most interesting, most well-written, funniest characters I've ever seen. Like, sure, I want some new fight scenes and all, of course, but I'm more interested in the characters than anything. You know what? I, that, that might be the highest praise I can give to a show that is essentially shonen. I genuinely care more about the characters than I do the fights or the animation. This is without a doubt getting its own video when it comes out. I think this is the only anime that genuinely has a shot at overtaking Kage as my anime of the year. Well, you know, that, that and... I have a confession to make. I have an Italian friend. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I know. This motherfucker has been hyping up Chainsaw Man to me for literally the past year and a half, and I'm so goddamn sick of it. But to be fair, he's got a point. Like, look at this animation, man. Calm down, Mappa. I read a little bit of the manga, and it's gotta say, it's, it's pretty good, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. God, I'm just so fucking excited for this next anime season. I'm gonna be no-lifing in my room, like, the entire semester. Guys, would you fucking believe it? As I was recording this video, a new Suzume trailer dropped. This is Comix Wave's next movie. They are my favorite animation studio, and the ones behind 5 centimeters per second, The Garden of Words, Weathering With You, and this little this little niche indie film that I found called Your Name. Yeah, we are getting a new movie from the same director and animation team that made Your Name. This is the biggest news that I've heard since fucking... Since I heard that Harambe died, holy shit, man. Makoto Shinkai is a master 
filmmaker. You don't just watch these movies, you fucking experience them. I love this scene from the Garden of Words. Takao is explaining his passion for shoemaking to someone other than his brother for the first time. He's cautious, but comfortable. Until we cut away from the garden. Notice how the camera begins to shake as the speed of the music picks up. The piano slams the keys harder than before as we're shown glimpses into our protagonist's life. The audience begins to feel uncomfortable and we realize firsthand that this is how Takao feels every single day. All of this in what I consider to be one of his weaker films. That's how good this man is. Suzume's already a 10. Like, we might as well just fucking write it down now. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six shows and a movie in the fall. And then later, we're getting Konosuba Season 3 and a Konosuba spinoff, Vinland Saga Season 2, a Full Metal Alchemist movie, Tokyo Revengers, Solo Leveling, Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Mushoku Tensei Season 2, and potentially Haikyuu Season 5. It literally cannot get any better than this. Wait, what the fuck?